All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Shalom, to all the Aki I'm out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this lesson on what does it mean to be saved, okay? Um, which you'll find out, you know, nobody is saved yet, okay? And that's according to the scriptures. So when you ask a question to your pastor, your pastor is supposed to answer you with, with, with the scriptures and not from out of his own vain opinion, okay? And you have a lot of people that believe in what they want to believe except for what the scriptures say, okay? Uh, um, believing that they're already saved or that, you know, when they when they die, that's when they're saved and they already making it into heaven just because they believe, okay? Well, that's that's not according to what the scriptures say, okay? So I'm going to start off with this, this scripture, Luke 6, 1, 1 and 67. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, okay, so he prophesied, okay, which means um, to say before, to say before it happens, okay? It says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, which is the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, which is his real name according to the Bible is, is Yahweh Shah. Okay? It says, um, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. And that right there is the point. That's what, what salvation is. Being saved from your enemies, man. Okay? Which the, 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 the Edomites, which are predominantly the so-called white people, are our enemies. You have two-thirds of Israel who don't believe in these scriptures who are our enemies. Okay? Which... um. When you look into the scriptures, it says the things that was written aforetime were written for our learning, okay? And you go into the scriptures and you see how the Lord saved certain people. Like, for example, in Sodom and Gomorrah, okay, the Lord saved only Lot and his, and his two children, okay? But he destroyed uh, his, his wife, okay, for looking back after she defied what the Lord, you know, told her to do, Okay? So what what was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah? It was a lot of homosexuality and things of that nature. Okay, so it's not just um, the fact that the so-called white man um, is our enemy and he, and he want, and that's that's uh, who we're getting saved from. It's these people who don't believe in the scriptures. Okay, and 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 aren't really down with the Lord. Okay, or the Lord ain't, ain't down with them. I should say. It says that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. To the oath which he swore unto, I mean to our father Abraham. That he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of his hand. Out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. Okay. We're going to this word oath. Okay, because the Lord is a man of his word. It says that which has been pledged or promised with an oath. So the Lord promised Abraham that he was going to deliver. Okay. You go into the word deliver. To draw to oneself to rescue. To deliver. The deliverer. Okay, and when you go into the word Yahweh or the name Yahweh Shah, okay, it stands for He delivers. Okay, so Yahweh Shah uh, was going to be is going to be the one who delivers uh, the Israelites from out of the hand of the enemies. Okay, it says um, uh, that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve Him without fear. You know, because we have uh, social security numbers. Um, the fact that we're subject onto payments, 
okay? And, and all type of other crazy stuff in this society, man, okay? It says, and holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life, okay? And the scripture says, uh, he who believes on the most high son, okay, they, that he'll have everlasting life, okay? That he's not going to perish, okay? So the that's, this is a promise that is given unto the ones that, that have faith, that, 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 that are in the truth, okay? That, that they'll be in the kingdom, away from their, their enemies, okay? And they won't have to worry about their, their uh, enemies because we'll be serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh without uh, fear, okay? Um, it says, And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. Okay? And and salvation is, you know, you, you in order to get that, you gotta repent. You gotta change your ways, man. Okay? And 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 come back into to who you are. Once you come back into who you are, you realize that the Lord gave the law, statutes, and commandments to the Israelites. Okay, you have to keep those those commandments to the best of your ability. Okay, you got to keep the faith. Okay, and you got to do what the Lord said to do, man. Okay, and that's that's as, as clear as day, whether you're a man or whether you're a woman. You got to be in order in, unto what the scriptures say. Okay, you got to you got to get right with the Lord or, or, or get destroyed. There ain't no in between. Okay, this is Psalm. 106 and 7. Our fathers understood not the wonders in Egypt, which we understand the wonders in Egypt, because America is, is, is modern day Egypt. Okay? It says, they remembered not the multitude of, of thy mercies. Okay, which we understand the, the mercies, man. And the Lord, we're asking the Lord to be merciful unto us um, to this day, man, so that we can get out of captivity. It says, but provoked him at the, the sea. Even at the Red Sea, nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. And 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 if you look at the world right now, okay, you have many different people that believe in uh, many different gods or many different things. Okay, you got people that believe in um, um, different religions, different philosophies, and stuff like that. Okay. But as far as the true power of who the one who created this whole entire planet, okay, for the most part, the world hasn't really seen that power, okay? You know, they've seen it, you know, uh, here and there, okay? But the Lord is going to make his mighty power known again, okay? He's going to glorify his name again according to what the scriptures say. And when this, this happens, people are going to know who did it, Okay? It says he rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them. Okay, and what happened back then? In, in Egypt, if you know about the story of Moses, Moses saved the Israelites from out of the land of, of Egypt. Okay? And, and, and the Lord is the one who parted the sea so that the, I mean, the uh, Israelites can, can walk through it. Okay? It says, um, and redeemed them from, from the hand of the enemy, which America is uh, the enemy of the Israelites. The, it's called Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. It says, and the waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Okay? So this happened back in, in uh, Egypt. Okay? Where the Israelites got saved before. Okay? And they dwelt in their land. Okay? The Lord told them what they was going to do, and that stuff is going to happen again. Okay? It says, uh, Isaiah 54 and 7. For a small moment have I forsaken you, but with great mercies will I gather you. Okay? So the Lord forsook us in this society. Okay? The Lord uh, took his name away from us, turned his back on us. Okay? But he's tur he's turning back back now, okay. And his name ain't Jesus, man. 
And it's not the Holy Trinity. It says, in a little wrath, I hid my face from you for a moment. Okay, what well, she did have that wrath on us. Okay, and it's going to happen again. You know, the, the Lord is going to sow his power again. He's going to destroy two-thirds of Israel and our enemies. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on you, saith the Lord thy Redeemer. For, for this as, as the waters of Noah unto me, for I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I will not be wroth with you nor rebuke you. Okay? So the Lord flooded, we talking about a power that flooded the earth, okay? Destroyed the earth with water before. Okay? So so people who think that the Lord um changes or that the Lord only blesses people, you got the Lord mistaken, man. Okay, you wrongly serving the Lord. It says, For the mountains shall depart and, and the hills shall be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from you. Not, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, said the Lord, says the Lord that has mercy on you. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest and not comforted, behold, I will lay your stones with fair colors and lay the foundations uh, with sapphires. Okay? And I believe that's pretty much it on, oh, no, nah, it's a little bit more. Um, it was the point in um, Isaiah 54 uh, and, and 13. And all your children shall be taught of the Lord, which nowadays you don't see people being taught um, who the Lord is. You know how the, the most high, his name is Yahweh, and his son name is Yahweh Shah. And great shall be the peace of thy, thy children. And righteousness shalt thou be established. And when you when you look at what's going on nowadays, a lot of people are uh, famous, okay, or being established out of wickedness, okay. A lot of these celebrities getting famous off of uh, you know adulterous songs or um, uh, selling drugs and stuff like that, okay. The men of the Lord are going to be established through righteousness. Righteousness, thou shalt be far from oppression. For thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come uh, near you. Okay, so all our people are going to going to know who the Lord is. It says, "Behold, they shall surely gather together, but but not by me. For I mean, whosoever shall gather together against you shall fall for your sake." Okay, so our enemies are going to going to try to come up together and try to come up against uh, Israel. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bring forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waste to destroy. So the Lord promised that he wasn't going to destroy the earth with, with water again, okay? But he never said that he wasn't going to destroy this earth with fire, which he's going to do it, okay? No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment Thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shah. Okay, so the, the 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 same way how the Lord saved Noah and his and his uh, family during the flood. Okay, the same way how the Lord going to save his men. Okay, and their families uh, when when the fires happen. Okay. Um, get, uh, three more, you know, got three more tabs. Uh, Jeremiah 32 and 37. Behold, I will gather them out of all the countries whether I have driven them in mine anger. Okay, so you have Israelites that live in China. You have Israelites that live in, uh, the Middle East. Israelites that live in, um, in, in Africa. Israelites that live in Europe. South, South America, all throughout the, the world. Okay. That that are going that are going to look like the nations where they are where they are, okay. Some Israelites are going to look like Chinese people, okay. It goes by the the lineage, it goes by the bloodline, it goes by the spirit, okay. And 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 ain't no other nation going to be saved up on them chariots, okay. It says, "Whether I have driven them in my anger and in my fury and in great wrath, I will bring them 
again onto this place, and I will cause them to dwell in safe, safe. I mean, to dwell, dwell safely. Okay, and they shall be my people, and I will be their, their God, their power. Okay, and I will give them one heart and one way that they may for, fear me forever. And when you look at the way this world is right now, man, everybody don't have that same heart. Everybody ain't ain't following the same way. Okay, everybody want their own little thing that they got going on. Okay, and they don't fear y'all by some y'all side. It says for the good of them and of their children after them. Okay, as we read before. Okay, that you know the uh, all the children are going to be taught of the Lord. Okay, you ain't going to have to worry about sending your child to to uh, to to school, and the teacher is doing whatever that or, or sawing them whatever. You know, showing them some Roman gods and stuff like that. You know, teaching them about that type of bullshit. We gonna know about who the, who the truth. You know, uh, about the, the 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 Most High, man, and His Son, and, and and all the wondrous works that He did, man. Okay, it says, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me. Okay. Um, this is Jeremiah 30 and 9. It says, But they shall serve the Lord their God and David their king, who I will raise up unto them. Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save you from afar. And our land was in Israel, and look where we're at. We're in America. It says, And from your seed, I mean, and you'll see from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none, of, none shall make him afraid, okay? And when you look at the, the people that live over there in, in Israel right now, okay, they over there still fighting, they're afraid of the, the Iranians um, getting um, nuclear weapons and stuff like that, okay? Well, that shows you that those people aren't aren't the, the people of the Lord, cause they are they 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 claim that they wasn't in the land, and now they got the land back, and 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 they not living forever, they dying and stuff like that, man. It says, "For I am with you," saith the Lord, "to save you, though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered you, yet will I not make a full end of you, but I will correct you and measure." And will not leave you altogether unpunished. Because two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. But they're going to come back in their right minds. As the, the scripture says, you know, all Israel shall be saved. Okay? I believe that's Romans 11. And, uh... 26. It says, and, and so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. Okay, uh, this is the last scripture, Jeremiah 16 and 10. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt sow this, these people, I mean, this people, all these words, and they say unto you, Wherefore have the Lord pro pronounced all this great evil against us, or what is our iniquity, or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Thou shalt say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me saith the Lord, and I have walked, I mean, and have walked after other gods, as you see today, okay, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law, which the laws aren't, uh, they, they, they are perfect, man, but, but people aren't perfect, okay, the Lord didn't give us some, some messed up law, it says, and you have done worse than your fathers, for behold, you walk everyone after the imagination of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. Therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land you know not, neither you nor your fathers, and dare you so serve other gods day and night, where I will not show you favor. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, okay, which he, he brought our people out of the land of Egypt, as we read the account earlier. He delivered them through the, the Red Sea, you know, and, and made known his his, his uh, mighty power, 
It says, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, which is North America, and from all the lands whither he hath driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Okay? So the Lord is going to deliver the children of Israel from wherever they are and, and save them and put them into their land again. And there they will be uh, learning the ways of the Lord the right way. And they will be following the Lord and, and, and won't have to worry about uh, the, the, the pain that we see now. Okay? But with that, man, hopefully this was edifying. I want to say uh, salam till next time.